Alright guys, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming and welcome back to my Reassembly Series Season 4 Episode 5 and the Carnivorous Space Elves. <laughs> Sorry, I just can't help it. Ah, I love it. Look at what we've created. Look at them. Look at them all. It's amazing. Okay, so uh, also look at this. 48,705 are... I, 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 I didn't even I didn't even know what to say. This this is crazy. And look at this. This is we've created more of these, and they're all cr generating their own R. And we'll soon start to produce ships. Actually, we could take a look and see what they're going to produce. Uh, how is it here? Let's go three. Right, Mervin the Money's. Oh, we need to change the name. In a moment, I'm going to look up. Somebody had suggested a couple really good names, so we will change that. But before we do that, um, let's first of all, he can build. Happy the bloodthirsty war elves, so definitely, and he can build. Uh, hmm, <laughs> Marty. I don't know if there's a reason to build Marty the despicable Santa imposter. Is not really an, uh, an offensive ship, but what we really need is basically we've got this big massive house. Well, what what does a carnivorous elf need with a house unless he has something to guard the house, like a space pet? What we need is a space pet. So. I think that's what we need to do. We need to build, we need to build a dog for the carnivorous space elves, like some kind of, some kind of pet. And we're gonna have the art to do it here in a second. Here, let me just, uh, let me just double check something. Uh, let's go one. Uh, so we're still at six, sixty nine seventy two. We could bump that up. Uh, let's leave that as a max to build a new pet for for the species. Uh, and then we're gonna go maybe start uh, rampaging through the through the galaxy and destroy everything that comes before us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to upgrade Assault, of course. And we're going to do this right away because no time like the present, we're going to build Fluffy. Okay, be right back. We're going to fast forward this. Alright, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty freaking excited about Fluffy. Now, Fluffy, Fluffy I think, is, is maybe not the most durable of uh, pets, but she sure is pretty. Oh, I like Fluffy. Let's test out Fluffy. Pretty stoked. So the goal here was to make, a, of course, a pet that was Fluffy. 
that, you know, like, kind of like a pit bull. Like, I would think that the carnivorous space elves would have kind of a guardian type pet. Hold on. Where am I? Oh, interesting. So it looks like, <laughs> uh, maybe, oh, it's trying to build against this uh, asteroid. That's not going to work so well for us. How do we get out? Well, that solves that problem. <laughs> Why is it whenever I design a new ship, we explode almost immediately? There we go. So here's Fluffy. Oh, yes, yes, he's pretty Fluffy. <laughs> I love it. <gasps> And that's why his name is Fluffy. So I also wanted to design something that, uh, because the modular guns causes the, hold on, I have to fix my controls here. Because the modular gun causes the control, causes your ship to get jolted backwards and forwards because of uh, the momentum of the gun, I wanted to build a ship that was balanced in the sense that when you fired, the only thing that was keeping you move, moving, or, or the, where the fi where the force was being applied more so than others, was where your engines were placed. So when I'm firing, I should theoretically. I know that was a compl way, complicated way to say that when I fire and move at the same time, it, the guns should not actually affect uh, the movement at all or the speed of the ship because um, all the guns are firing at the same time and they're perfectly symmetrical or opposing each other. I don't know if that makes any sense, but yes, so this ship will not be affected by the momentum of the modular guns. Now, uh, it, it is it is not the most expensive ship we could build, for sure, and this is a first iteration of Fluffy, too. I love it. I love Fluffy. This is great. So this is a ship that we, when we come into an area and we want to secure it, we just build lots and lots of Fluffies. It's, it's kind of a mindless ship, and it does have some defense in the sense that it has uh, shields. But it needs to chase its opponents like rawr, 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 rawr. <laughs> I love it. <gasps> oh, Fluffy, Fluffy lives. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Oh, Fluffy is great. Okay, so we need to incorporate Fluffy into, of course, uh, uh, Mervin. Uh, we need to change the name of Mervin. Hold on one second. I'm going to figure out the name, uh, the new name of Mervin. One second. Okay, I've got it. Special thanks goes out to Garrett Turner for this name. So let's uh, let's go back to uh, let's go back to Mervin the Money, <laughs> and th yes, Garrett Turner had a great name. <laughs> Mervin the Money. I don't know. It was, it was a placeholder, I guess. Uh, this is Gavin the the bloody gumdrop. <laughs> and, hey guys, I want you to come up with the rest of Fluffy's name. So it can't just be Fluffy, or maybe we change it entirely. But we have to think of a new name for the carnivorous space elves pet. And they're Gavin the Bloody Gumdrop. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And of course, Gavin, I wonder how long it takes to build Gavin. I still don't know. Oh, we should almost time this. I bet you it takes quite a while. So the thing with that is the downside to the bloody gumdrop is, and it looks kind of like a bloody gumdrop. I love it. That's great. Um, the downside to Gavin is that when we come into, look, they're building new ones. Oh my Lord. This is, this is going to crash my computer eventually. Look at, they're just building tons of them. Um, eventually, well, we're going to be coming into an area and we're going to want to build one of these so that we can generate a whole bunch of R and build a fleet, right? So the question is, how long... It, well, it's actually building much faster than I expected. I expected it would take a far longer time to put together, but it's actually not too bad. Um, but I'm wondering... I hope these guys have some other stuff. Well, here, here's the thing. Now we can go into command mode and we can give them something else to build because right now they're just building themselves and we want them to be, be, be building fluffies happies i guess marty's marty doesn't have any weapons he has a what a couple drones on him um we still need a drone ship i think and i guess uh i don't know <laughs> medium fighter i guess just because that's all we have so oh i like the look of fluffy fluffy looks really cool i actually really like him and he's only 4634p like that's not bad but here's the thing this is this is what i want i want all of the mervin the monies to have this in their queue so oh uh i want to be sure that we've got a copy of everything happy uh marty yes okay so we're all good yes so that when um 
we come into an area and we build one of these, they just start pumping out uh, these other types of ships. It's too bad you can't jump to another ship. That would be really cool. Yes, still building away. Um, either way, I don't know. I wouldn't come into this area, even if they are just building Mervyn the Money. Like, how do you deal with that? Mervyn the Money has no defense. Oh, right, he has some lasers on him, That, but that's it. Okay, so let's go back to Fluffy. <laughs> and maybe we'll take Fluffy for a cruise and capture some stations, because that would be kind of fun. Oh, they just stole all those blocks. Look at that. Oh, see, now he's building some of these... Uh, some of these other ships. I'm really excited to see more Fluffies. And look, Fluffy is is combat enabled. He's he's pretty pretty. A he's able to defend himself and move almost immediately. And that's just uh, I'm happy with the engine placement. But he is not. He's definitely not the most durable of ships uh, that I've ever built. Oh, there's a wormhole here. Ah, oh, well, you know, somebody else was mentioning that maybe we should send out our fleet through the wormhole just so that it's out there right away. So maybe we'll do that. Um, yeah, we'll just do that right away. Well, no, not yet. We'll, we'll put actually, I want to put a bunch of ships in our fleet so that when we appear as agents, <laughs> is the carnivorous pill, when the carnivorous space elves appear as agents in your game, I want it to be, oh no, not space elves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're hard to get rid of. Not not that they're necessarily tough, but oh, what a pain in the butt. <laughs> uh, so the nice thing about these guys, these guys might be actually really good for taking on um, the space plants because they shoot in every direction and will just devour little asteroids like this, like from every direction. I kind of like that. Look at that. Very nice. Oh, now uh, not very fast. And we could add some more engines, both front and back to this guy. That would definitely make... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. In numbers, I think, but it's 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 a family pet. This is not our ultimate combat ship. We're still we still have to build that. So at least one more episode. But I just want to you know test out Fluffy and see how well we. Oh, what is this? That's new. The Beast Master Beast Masteroid iPod. What? Beast Beast Masteroid Pod. Beast Beam Masteroid Pod. Interesting. Interesting. Now we don't have a lot of room to store stuff on this uh, this little beast, but um, we should still be able to capture these stations. Let's go try it. And these guys seem to be going down very fast. Heavy assault fighter. Oh, oh look at that! He's just two engines. Two engines. Ha ha! Well, we will capture another station and expand our influence. And I think, as the space cells, we'll be able to capture this galaxy without too much trouble. Here we go. Ha ha! <laughs> oh, and it's gonna build uh, Despicable Santa, and then the Despicable Santa will maybe build one of the uh, Gavins. <laughs> the bloody gum drop! <laughs> rawr, 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 rawr. Ooh, see, he's. Uh, I do take damage, and, and this, these ships, of course, uh, the Fluffy will be very vulnerable to missile fire because of the area effect of missiles. What is he firing? It looks like he's using. Oh, he's using Bolsheviks. Or schmutz launchers, as I like to call them. Yeah, it's taking a taking a beating, and he's not going down very easily. All right, well, gave a whole bunch of points to Santa there. Oh man! Well, we should appear right beside Santa, hopefully. Ah, look, look at all those points I just gave all my guys. <laughs> oh, Santa seems to be. Uh, oh, he's got himself a Bolshevik launcher. Excellent. Good job, Santa. We're gonna bring you out into the uh, hostile territory here. Why? Well, I need you to launch some ships, Santa. Oh! Alright, let's see if we can do better here. There we go. Um, when I don't ram <laughs> and lose my front armor, I do much better. Now, you know, we're not using the best modular weapons on this, but it's fluffy. He's fluffy, and the nice thing about him is he can fly actually really well, because he's not being counterbalanced all over the place with the, uh, with the modular guns. He's not being thrown all over the place, so that's kind of cool. And, like I said, oh, what is that? Is that a new ship? No. What is that? Looks like it was going to be a fluffy and then it died. Interesting. All right, let's go see what. Oh, look, Santa. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. So that is our. How, how we really need to build a new station for the carnivorous space elves too, because I don't think Santa's gonna cut it. Santa's kind of a weenie. You know when Santa appears that bad things are soon to come. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, these are the. Like the elder man? I'm pretty sure. Let's see how well. Oh, Jesus! Okay, this is this is too much for one little doggy. Uh, oh, Jesus! Ah, uh, yeah. 
That's the thing, the uh, this crystal, the crystal race, the crystal guys, they have a lot of hit points. Okay, so we've tested the Carnivorous Space Elves pet Fluffy, and we need a name for Fluffy. We need a proper name for Fluffy so that he fits in well with the Carnivorous Space Elves and the theme. <laughs> the Carnivorous Space Elves theme, of course. So give that some thought and let me know in the comments below what you think we should name Fluffy because I, I like Fluffy. Look at him, he's Fluffy. He's very fluffy with modular weapons. <laughs> I wouldn't want to pet him. He's kind of more of a porcupine than a puppy. But, and look, his energy's holding up. I can fire those pretty much nonstop. Now, of course, if we're being attacked, um, the shields are going to take damage. And of course, when shields take damage, it burns through your energy. But I don't know, it's, it's pretty good. All right, so let's get back to our area here. And then we're going to call this an episode. I hope you like Fluffy. I just wanted to do a quick one today because I had an idea and I really like it. So it's very, very cool. Next episode, we're going to build the leader of the carnivorous space elves. So haha, <laughs> prepare for that. So hopefully we'll do that next week. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Take care.